Nelson. Let's meet the Funch family. Blaine, Danny, Keith, Ken, and Barbara. Ready for action. Playing against the Robinson family. James, Keisha, Monique, Tracy, and Damon. On your mark. Let's start the family feud. Let's start the family feud. Thank you for joining us on this holiday season. I feel festive. I feel like I have $10,000 to give to the most deserving family, which is... It might be our returning champions, the Funch family. We welcome them. How are you doing there, Danny? Where'd you get these? Did we the supply these? No, sir. I made these this morning. Did you really? Did it truly? Really? Yeah. All right, Lane, get rid of it, because don't hide that beautiful face. How did you make these? Oh, we just went to the... Uh local store and we look for anything to get beards. They wanted 30 bucks for a pre-made one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a little too much. You, you haven't won the big dough yet. No, no. So today maybe you'll get that chance. Now you're from New Jersey? New Jersey, Harrington Park, New Jersey. Well, I'm glad you're back. Now maybe you'll get the shot today. Who'd you bring with you? It's a beautiful family. I brought family. my uh, lovely wife, Lane. Hello, Hi, lovely Ray. Lane. Uh, my next oldest brother, Keith. Hello, Ray. Keith, How you my doing? oldest brother, Ken. Hi, nice Ray. to see you. And his yeah. lovely wife, Barbara. Welcome Hi, back Ray. to the show. Are we ready? Yeah. Yes, sir. It's a great beard. You're gonna have to defeat this family if you want to play for the ten thousand dollars. Right. They are the Robinson family. Hey. Hello, Monique. Hi. How are you? Fine yourself. I'm very fine. Good. Where do you? Where does you? The Robinson family come from? Well, we come from all different areas, but we're West Indians. You're West Indians? West Indians. Which means you're from West, West Indies. Indies. The West Indies. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't ask that question, Monique. Um, it's kind of hoping you'd say Riverside, and then we'd be on the, the introductions. But the West Indies, we'll get into it more. Who else did you bring with you? My daring cousin, Damon. Daring Damon. My intelligent sister, Keisha. So, okay. My athletic brother, Dan James. James, making the names up as you go. <laughs> Met him in the parking lot. we got to get a family together. We're still from the West Indies. And terrific cousin, Tracy. Welcome to the show. Somebody's going to play for $10,000. Yeah. But to do that, you've got to win the game. And to win the game, you got to play. $300 win the game. Get a chance to play fast money for the $10,000. Good luck. Monique is in a trance. We ask 100 people this question. We put the top seven answers on the board. Try to find the most popular answer to this question. Name something that you might enjoy about a stay in the hospital. Danny? Food. He says, I don't know why. Danny, you're an interesting human, human being. He says he loves hospital food. <laughs> All right. There's a, man, there's a man in the psychiatric ward. Monique, what do you say? Rest. She says the rest. Yeah, good answer, Monique. Number one answer. There you go, Danny. Nine people said food. All right. Mm, you eat hospital food, you just have to stay longer. You just, it's just not the best food. Damon, what do you say, pal? I say the presents that you get in, in the hospital. The presents that you get. Yeah. Let me see those wonderful gifts. Yeah! You see these flowers. <laughs> Keisha. Give it to her, Keisha. You hear what she said? Give it to me. <laughs> All right, Keisha. Something you might enjoy about a stay in the hospital. I know I'm female, but what about the pretty nurses and the doctors? You know you're female, but what about the pretty nurses and the doctors? <laughs> Let me answer. see. The pretty nurses and the doctors. Good answer, Keisha. Yeah! yeah. Let's keep this the nurses. <laughs> That's the way. James, athletic James? Yes. What's the most athletic thing about you? What's your favorite sport? Football. Yes. Football, all right. <laughs> all right, James. Something that you might enjoy about a stay in the hospital. How about the remote TV? <laughs> you know, this is a weird family. You can get rest, you can get food, you can even get nurses if you stay home. You can definitely get a remote control, James. Instead, you don't have to go to the hospital, but maybe it's there. Those very fun TVs. $2 a day, James. It's $2 a day for the TV in the hospital, James. Tracy, how you doing? I'm fine. Now, 
You're from the West Indies, I have heard. No yes. one talking like this, man. <laughs> no one is talking like a culinary. But you're from the West Indies. Yes. I think you're making it up. No, no. What do you say, Tracy? Someone you, something you might enjoy about is stay in the hospital. I say visitors. Now that's kind of nice. <laughs> Friends, let me see visitors. Good oh. I'm surprised. Fun's family, you're going to get a chance to steal. I can't believe that people didn't say visitors. Something you might enjoy about is stay in the hospital, Monique. Quiet. Rest? Quiet. All right, we'll see if it's there. You're still alive if we see quiet. Two answers, one is second most popular. Well, they're just celebrating Damon. You're standing there going, oh, I gotta think of something. <laughs> what do you say? I say the um, reclining beds. The, beds the reclining yeah. beds, the adjustable. Yeah. Yeah. I never saw how that brought you any comfort. When it's all done, you're up like this. The bed that you can have in your own home. Show me the adjustable beds. Right. Walking like this when it's over. Funch family, the bank is yours. If you name something you might enjoy about a stay in the hospital, Barbara. She I doesn't know. know. Okay. Right. You don't have to go to work. You don't have to go to work. Receiving Keep... letters. Receiving letters, Lane. The good care that you get. The good Come care on, that Dan. you get. Now, Danny, you can go with any answer you want around on your own. There's two that'll get you the bank. I think I'm going to stick with uh, not going to work. Not going to work. Okay. Right. okay. Some people right. would rather lay in the hospital and go to work. Show me not going to work. We didn't know. Number two, being waited on. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, Lane. And number four, no. We're coming right back. You never know what the answers are going to be for this question. See you right after these messages. Come on back. All right, come alive. Good job. Can I get life insurance at my age, in my health? I'd like to leave my loved ones with a little something when I'm gone, but. I'm afraid I'm too old to get life insurance. If you're like these nice folks and thought life insurance after 45 was impossible to get or impossible to afford, I've got good news. If you're 45 to 79, Physicians Life guarantees you up to $10,000 of permanent modified whole life insurance designed to help your family with the expenses they will face. You cannot be turned down because of your health. You can buy this insurance policy if you're 45 to 79 and you're insured for life, no questions asked. Just one dollar pays for your first full month of protection. After that, you can continue at a monthly renewal rate that can never go up. Plus, your coverage can never be canceled because of your age or health. Easy to get and easy to afford. Now let me tell you why this protection is so important. All of us someday may leave behind expenses for our loved ones to pay. There's no escaping it. These expenses can easily add up to thousands of dollars. You know, some people even expect the government to take care of these expenses. But the fact is, Social Security currently pays a death benefit of just $255, and only if you qualify. That's why I urge you to take a look at this coverage. It's one sure way you can help leave your loved ones with dollars instead of debts. I'm proud to be their paid spokesman. This is one phone call your loved ones will be thankful for later. So call right now. To get your free information kit directly by mail, call toll-free 1-800-272-4200. That's 1-800-272-4200. There's no cost or obligation. You're just calling for information. We're here when you need us, Physicians Mutual. We're feuding the Robinson family, $55. The Funch family from New Jersey, zero. We go, Lane. Now the face off. Damon? They shake hands. We put the top six answers on the board, and I ask this question. Name one of the sounds of summer. Damon? The wind blowing through the trees. He says the wind blowing through the trees. <laughs> not there, not one of the sounds of summer, Damon. Maybe in the West Indies, but here in South, what do you say, Southern California, one of the sounds of summer, Lane? Um, birds chirping. Let me see, yeah. chirping yeah. birds! Yeah. Chirp, chirp, birds, yeah. Yeah. Spirit, buddy. All right, yeah. here come the fun family. Keith, welcome yeah. to the show officially. Name one of the sounds of summer. Ocean. Is Let me right? hear the ocean breeze. Yes. 
Don't those X's sound so loud <laughs> in live, real life? Uh, Ken, I, hey, you, you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to go along with uh, my brother here. I'm going to say swimming. Take it a step further. Okay, one of the sounds of summer, the sound of... How does that sound, the sound of swimming? Splash. All right, let me hear. The sound of swimming. Come on! Yeah! What is splashing? Very specific. Barbara. Hey, look, we've got four answers on that board, and one is second most popular. Name one of the sounds of summer. I say crickets. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Romantic yeah. Yeah. Let me hear it. Cricket! Yeah! 16 people say crickets number two. Danny, a bank is building. One of the sounds of summer. I would say uh, kids playing outdoors. The sounds yeah. of kids playing. Yeah. 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 $73 in the bank lane. Keep it rolling. What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> Um, <laughs> carnival music. Carnival music? Yeah. Let me see. No, no carnival music. Keith, they're going for the steal, and now there's $73. There. What do you say? Oh, Motorcycles? As well? Who the knows? crowd, you never know. The <laughs> best time to ride in the summer. Could it be a motorcycle? <laughs> Robinson family, now listen carefully. Name one of the sounds of summer, and that bank is yours, Tracy. Kids getting out of school. Kids getting out of school. James? Screaming. Screaming, nice sound. Keisha? Sirens. Sirens. David? Beginning of baseball season. The beginning Bats of baseball crack. season, bats cracking. Monique, you can go with them or out on your own. There are two answers that will get you the bank. What do you say? Sirens. Bats cracking. What do you want her to say? Bats cracking. Bats cracking. You might have a better answer on your own. Let's go, Monique. Baseball. Kids playing. Kids playing. Children? Oh, it's, a great, it's a darn good answer. In fact, it's number three. <laughs> I knew it was up there. I was just checking the judge. What do you say, Monique? Three seconds. Bats crashing. Bats ball. cracking. On um, what? A ball. A ball. Okay, all right. Let me see. Bats cracking for baseball. <laughs> That's one of the answers. Kill me. <laughs> All right. There's one answer we didn't know. It was number four. Alarm! Oh! Now that's one they didn't say. Oh. Anybody can take this dude. There's a lot more fun after this. Oh, wait. Come on back. All right. Come alive, Danny boy. Double the dollar. Some races make champions. Some champions make history. On January 10th, one reality series will make dreams come true. Twelve ordinary people are in the competition of their lives. Come on! But only one will claim a quarter of a million dollars and the winning racehorse. American Dream Derby, where fantasy becomes reality television. Premieres January 10th at 9, only on GSN, the network for games. Need money? Greenlight Financial Services has millions of dollars we must lend by the end of the year. That's this Friday. To reach that goal, we've got a great deal to help homeowners get money. Call by this Friday, and you can get $40,000 for as little as $167 a month. And you'll make no payments for the first 90 days. To get the money you need, you just have to be a homeowner. And to get this deal, you got to call by Friday. You've got the green light. Call 866-66-FASTER for instant approval. There are no upfront costs, and you can get the money in as few as seven days. So get money, pay bills, start the new year fresh. Get $40,000 for an incredibly low monthly payment with no payments for 90 days. There are just four days left for this year-end deal. So homeowners, even with poor credit, call now before this great offer goes away. 866-66-FASTER, you've got the green light. In the morning, colds can be draining. So wake up to new non-drowsy Alka-Seltzer Plus. With a burst of effervescence, it's instantly ready to break up your worst cold symptoms fast. So you're not just relieved, you feel revived. <sighs> new non-drowsy Alka-Seltzer Plus. Your shoes will be dyed. Nails. Dyed. It's amazing the sacrifices you'll make for friendship. With Diet Dr. Pepper, you sacrifice nothing. Diet Dr. Pepper tastes more like regular Dr. Pepper. You eyeballing me, Martinez? No. It's okay. Let's get married. If the headline read, entire population of Green Bay reorders Cortislim, you'd know that the Cortislim lifestyle of diet, exercise, nutrition, and of course Cortislim really works.
Now, we both know that not all of Green Bay ordered Quarter Slim, but my point is over 100,000 people haven't just ordered Quarter Slim once, they've ordered it again. Over 100,000 reorders tells you that a lot of people have stepped off the scale and into the Quarter Slim lifestyle. We will double the dollar value. Keisha, they need to get in the game very desperately. Keith is going to be swinging real fast, so get ready. <laughs> Keith, you got no points. Do what you have to do. Trouble. I'm a troublemaker. The top five answers are on the board. Great question. Name an occupation whose participants wear flashy outfits. <laughs> oh, I want to slap it. Keisha? A barroom dancer. A barroom dancer? The uh, who? The girl, the dancer, the girl dancer. Keisha, this is a wonderful family you're with here. <laughs> show me the barroom dancing girls. Yeah! Dancing show girls. Keith, take this to you. Come on, come Now, James, how old are you? Fifteen. Fifteen? And you're a football player in junior high or high school? High school, sophomore. You're a sophomore and... Uh, Varsity. Var you play varsity? Varsity. Yes. You're, he does? Yes. What high school? Yes. I was in high school in Rialto, San Bernardino. And you're already playing in the 10th grade? Yeah. Yes. And what do you run the 40 in? About 4 or 5. 4 or 5. Yeah. That's pretty fast, in case you don't know. <laughs> All right, do you wear a helmet when you play? Of course. Uh, I, I didn't. You right. did? I know, that's why I'm doing this for a living. Back in the day. <laughs> Name an occupation whose participants wear flashy outfits. How about an astronaut? They're pretty flashy. Stepping into a disco in one of those outfits, hey, baby. You say we do the moonwalk, huh? All right. Show, show, me, show me an astronaut. All right, didn't make the survey, man. Tracy, what do you say? Um, an occupation is participants wear flashy outfits. How about football players? All right, let me yeah. see the flashy football outfits. All right, Bunch family's gonna get a chance to steal $76. What do you say, Monique? An occupation is participants wear flashy outfits. Undercover police officer. All right, those flashy, undercover. If you want to, don't want to attract attention to yourself, get a flashy outfit. Walk into a place. <laughs> you were playing so well there for a while, Monique. The crowd is lined up going like this. If you look out there, Monique, take a look. See him out there? This one's for you, babe. Show me. Undercover police officers. <laughs> They've got to steal it. They've got to steal it. Here we go. Punch family. Name an occupation whose participants wear flashy outfits. Barbara? Cheerleaders? Cheerleaders? Can't. The Marines. The Marines? Bartenders. Bartenders? Circus people. Circus people. Some real interesting answers. Oh, Danny, there are four answers that will get you $76. Okay. Name and occupation as participants wear flashy outfits. We're you can gonna go, go with circus. Show me those flashy right, circus go. people. Come on, let's see. Yeah. Circus outfits. Thank you, Tom David, for the first time. Right. One was yeah. number two. Singer, musician, <sighs> Prince, number four. <laughs> number five. <laughs> Stripper! $128 for the Robinson family. The point 76, here we go. Another face up. Here we go. Ken against James. The dollar value is triple. The top four answers are on the board. And we ask this important question. Name a signer of the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson. James says Thomas Jefferson. There it is. One answer more popular. What do you say? Name a sign of the Declaration of Independence. Uh, George Washington. Let me see George Washington. Did not sign. I'm sorry. Yes, you couldn't yes. find a cosigner. All right. Tracy. <laughs> Name a sign of the Declaration of Independence. Uh, uh, John Adams. John Adams? You can answer that. Let me see. John Adams. Number one is right there. Monique, name a signer of the Declaration of Independence. Ben Franklin. Yeah! yeah. yeah. One way to get on a dollar. Show me. Ben Franklin. Yeah. This is a big bag. Depending on that number one answer, Dave, and your family might be able to win the game if you tell me, number one. A signer of the Declaration of Independence. Uh, Thomas Edison. Oh, yeah. That adds a whole new light to the subject. Let me see. Thomas Edison. <laughs> this, is, 
this is not Jeopardy, okay? This is not Jeopardy. Keisha. <laughs> Name a signer of the Declaration of Independence. How about John Hancock? Yeah! 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 If number one is John Hancock, you won the game. Show me your John Hancock! John Hancock! goodbye to the Fudge family. I'm sorry you didn't get to stay longer. You've made it wonderful. Keith, stay right here. We've got, we got over $1,200 in the pay lot of fun. Stay right here. Come on, I need two players. Ten thousand dollars Who's playing first? Let's go. The Robinson family from the West Indies. Playing fast money with Moni. Right after this. See you in a minute. When Publishers Clearinghouse arrives... Congratulations. Oh, hi, you're sure? Dreams come true. Oh, Lord, this is true. <laughs> Watch your mail or go to pch.com. Only in America you can do this. Enter, and the next $10 million winner could be you. More questions, more answers, and most of all, more millions. The Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Marathon, January 9th from 7 p.m. to midnight, only on GSM, the network for games. Brought to you by America Online. Want a better internet? You belong at America Online. There's water all around. You draw it in. There's sunshine always. You soak it up. There's energy everywhere. You turn it loose. There's a voice calling you to Arizona. You hear it sing. Call now for your free Arizona Visitor's Guide. There are a lot of ways to save a few hundred dollars. Some take quite a while. Others take just 10 minutes or less. Just pick up the phone and call AIG Auto Insurance. In a few short minutes, we'll tell you how much you could save with AIG. Chances are it will be hundreds of dollars. That's hundreds of dollars now. Over time, you can save a lot more with our claims-free discount. Call 1-800-508-7421 to see how much we can save you. AIG. We know auto insurance. So what's with his car insurance rates went up again? <laughs> so he figures if he uses enough bubble wrap, he won't need insurance? Interesting. There's an easier way to protect your car for less. Call AIG Auto Insurance and save hundreds of dollars and up to $1 million in coverage. Call 1-800-508-7421 to see how much we can save you. AIG, we know auto insurance. about to play fast money for ten thousand dollars and the attempt to make it in our tournament of champions winner take all monique is up first you've got 15 seconds to give me the five most popular answers you can think of to the questions i'm about to ask you are you ready i'm ready give me 15 seconds on the clock please time won't begin until i finish reading the first question good luck name a place kids are told to sit up straight church something that gets rusty pipe a beverage served in tall glasses. Beer. A color on a fish. Gold. A food you put barbecue sauce on. Ribs. Turn around here, Monique. <laughs> Let's see how you do it. I ask you the kind of place kids are told to sit up straight, and you said in church. Our survey said. Yeah. Forty-six. <laughs> Something that gets rusty, you said? A pipe. Our survey said? Thirteen. A beverage served in a tall glass, you said? Beer. Our survey said? Twenty-nine up to eighty-eight. A color on a fish. You thought a popular color was? Gold. What did the survey say? Twenty-four. You're over a hundred, Monique. A food that you put barbecue sauce on, you said? Ribs. What did the survey say? 32! Here comes the cousin Damon. Come on, Damon. My friend, how you feeling? Okay. All right. How do you think she did? Pretty good. You think she did good? Yeah. Based on what? It's my cousin. <laughs> she did darn good. You need 56 points. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. If you hear this sound, it means you've duplicated one of her great answers, and I'll say try again. You give me another answer, pal. Okay. You ready? You're 56 points away from $10,000. Give me 20 seconds on the clock, please, revealing your partner's answers. Good luck. 
Name a place kids are told to sit up straight. In a restaurant. Something that gets rusty. Uh, a car bottle. Metal. A beverage served in tall glasses. Lemonade. A color on a fish. Gold. Try again. Silver. A food you put barbecue sauce on. Steak. Turn around here. You need 56 points, my friend. And the show, the Robinson family is going to be jumping up and down. Name a place kids are told to sit up straight. You said? In a restaurant. What did the survey say? 20. Excellent. Church was the number one answer given by your cousin. Something that gets rusty, you said? A car bottom. Our survey said? 11. <laughs> Getting close, 25 points away. You ever have a car bottom you're driving down the road, you can see the road? No, <laughs> not yet. I had one of those, like a Flintstone mobile. You're driving, you can just see the car, the road going. You want to put your feet down there? Huh? Number one answer was nails. A beverage served in a tall glass, you said? Lemonade. If 25 people said lemonade, the Robinson family has $10,000. Our survey said... <laughs> Only seven. Ice tea, number one answer. You're now 18 points away. It comes down to a color on a fish, you said. The popular... <laughs> Silverfish. Survey said... <laughs> 14. <laughs> number one answer was gold. I can feel it. I sure hope you did it. A food you put barbecue sauce on, you said... Did four people say steak for $10,000, survey said? Yeah! <laughs> They've got $10,000, and they're going to come right back. Don't miss any of the fun. See you in a minute. Thanks to the new Nutrisystem, you can eat great and lose weight free for an entire week. If you're ready to feel sexy, lose weight, and eat free, then you need to check out Nutrisystem Nourish. We're talking freedom. Freedom from meetings and membership fees. Freedom from having to cut carbs, count points, count calories, and freedom from starvation. Now that's freedom. This simple program is the easiest you could ever follow with all new recipes that let you enjoy the benefits of a low-carb diet without giving up all the carbs. Call now to find out how to give your first week of food absolutely free. Now that's what I'm talking about. Seven breakfasts, seven lunches, seven dinners, and seven snacks, and all free. Imagine your new body, sleek, sexy, and turning heads wherever you go. I do get a lot more attention than I used to, and it's kind of fun. <laughs> wow, what did you do? I love that. <laughs> now when I look in the mirror, I, I love what I see. And all you have to do is eat. Real delicious food that helps you lose weight and is delivered right to your door. And through this special offer, you'll get 28 breakfasts, 28 lunches, and 28 dinners, and even 28 snacks. Plus the free week of food and all for the amazingly low price of $10 a day. I'd struggled with my weight my entire life, but not anymore. For the first time in my life, I don't feel embarrassed to put on a bathing suit. My husband thinks I'm sexy, and you do feel sexier. I just feel more confident. Call or visit us online. We give you a free week's worth of food, including seven breakfasts, seven lunches, seven dinners, and seven snacks absolutely free. This isn't your mother's Nutrisystem. This is a whole new Nutrisystem. You have nothing to lose but the weight you don't want. Call now. The hot seat leads to cold cash on who wants to be a millionaire. Next, then it's a double dose of Win Ben Stein's money on GSN. Chicken number one. We would like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas from all of us here at Family Feud to your family. Have a special holiday. See you next time. Bye bye. GSN. Only two seats remain at the championship table. With only five celebrities remaining, which two will risk it all for a chance to party at the million dollar table with Jason Alexander and Lance Bass? This week, Caroline Ray, Warren G, Kelly Williams, John Henson, and Jeff Probst. It all comes down to this. Celebrity Blackjack Semifinals, tonight at 10, only on GSM, the network for games.
complete the past season with the Extreme Dodgeball Marathon. Watch the bad boys and girls of dodgeball. It's four thrilling hours with some of the best matches from season two. Join host Bill Dwyer and Zach Selwyn for the Extreme Dodgeball Marathon, Sunday afternoon from 3 to 7 on GSN.